One of five. Need to redo me buffs. You really do need to make those buffs an hour or something. Yeah. Thirty minutes now, so. Enraged portal uh, elemental guardian. Alright, oh, that's a, a one up thingy. One more. Keep an eye on that no. big thing. Oh, yeah. Huge. Oh, I didn't know that. They do backstroke as well. I would say that we should go and kill that uh, big thing, but they don't seem to drop anything, do they? No. That's that one done. There's something on this island. We're going to have to kill that, aren't we? Yes, it's coming for me. Yeah. Nice graphic. Oh, 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 put, put me down. Suddenly, crocodiles. Eight of. Oh, yeah. Oops, stunned me. Oh, 
<laughs> I like I flicked it up into the air then. Ow. I love that. Five eight. Seven, eight. One more. Come here, you. My uh, arrow curves. <coughs> uh. Turn him back here. Nice. <laughs> it's a funny thing you're riding. Level six now. Level six? Yeah, that'll look quick. Uh, plate, upper chest. I, bet I can't equip this. Oh, yes, I can. Got a blue breastplate, a purple Vembrace, and blue gauntlets. Oh my god. Very nice. Right, crystal baubles. That's level seven, look at that. Give it up. Oh dear. Uh, uh, oh. Alright, okay, looks like I'm going down whether I like it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Kill it. 
probably won't drop anything, but why not? Two up. Two stars. Alright, here we go. Oh, and I got an ad. That's dead. You feared me. Jesus. Run away. Ouch. Uh, I'm out, man. Huh? I'm dead. <laughs> okay, all right. Maybe maybe two stars is a little bit too much for us. Um, uh, where's my res? Do you have one? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. I fear me, fear me, red moms. Okay, there we go. Uh, he's still on me. Is he? Uh, yeah. Heal up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep fighting him. Uh. Move back away from the wall to get low on health. Apparently the fence is more than he can handle. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> That's a bit cheesy. Sunlight Arkham Shard acquired. What? That's for controlling an area, isn't it? A shard like that. I don't know. I seem to remember reading something about that. <clears throat> uh, sunlight Archaeum Shard. Pure condensed magic trapped in physical form. Energy from the sun makes it especially useful in weapon crafting. Ah, right. A lack of magic or life force creates monsters, changes climate, weakens the barriers that protect the world from other dimensions. Using RKM releases healing magic back into nature. It's some kind of crafting thing. Well done, Nate. <laughs> okay. But no. we've, we, we've still got something over this way for some reason. I just don't know what they come off of. Kill centaurs. Kill centaurs? Yeah. Alright, get rid of that. One of three. I hope he doesn't spawn again. We didn't see him last time we were fighting over here, did we? No, we didn't. And he was a two. I, we haven't seen him two up no, yet. Oh, maybe he's a rare spawn. Well, he actually dropped something this time, too, which was. Yeah, highly irregular. Yeah. Two of three. Yes. Right, I'm, I'm not going for the, uh, the shaman, they're the one-ups, aren't they? Yeah. 
We'll get another uh, warrior over the far side there. Wow. Story mode. Oh, she just explained that the magic contained with oh, the yeah, same class quest was a pure magic. Unlike necromancy, it wouldn't taint or twist the soul of the person being resurrected. Years ago, Anthalon had faked his own death and pulled back his troops. Thinking the war was finally over, Nui's Chosen left the hereafter and re-entered normal life. They arrived on New Year, started families, and took up new careers. Finally having the chance to share in what they'd spent so long protecting. Just when their last ounces of fear were replaced by the bliss of life, Anthalon attacked. His forces were fiercer and more deadly than ever. The risk of his breaking through the gate had never been greater. Nui's chosen were forced to abandon their new lives and return to the war. But before leaving, they gave their children a special mark to protect them. A golden rune. You were an heir of the noblest lineage ever to tread the earth. Of course I am. Lucius said the rune was read as Kaidella, which meant love in an ancient language called Ipnish. Back then, drawing the character with your finger had been the equivalent of saying, I love you. Nui's Chosen had picked this symbol to give their offspring. Drawing the magic from their own life forces, Nui's Chosen traced the rune on each child. Their children were marked with a love so strong, it could be concentrated into physical form. Malcolm had used his mark on himself. The ultimate selfishness, the ultimate cowardice. Poor Malcolm. He hadn't wasted his death or even his life. He'd wasted love itself. Some Nuyans had been fearful of the special magic the heirs held, and kept the truth a secret. Even people like Marion, who knew the heirs were special, could never figure out exactly how. Marion, a good and loyal friend, the golden rune on your arm began to glow brighter and brighter as its light flared up. Your eyes widened. Marion drew a breath. The golden mark vanished from your arm, never to return. Marion awoke with a musical laugh. Your suspicions about her heritage had been correct. She was one of the noble Marions, betrothed to the prince himself. She already knew that as queen, she wanted to lead people back to their rightful place on Auroria. She had suspected the magic of the rune bearers could help. That was why, against Atalantia's advice, she had gone to find them. Lucius returned to the battle he'd been fighting for centuries. 
Nui's Chosen finally understood that their sacrifice was total. Even if the war seemed to end, they could never return to their people. It was too risky. But despite Anthelon, his evil, his destruction, the people they were protecting could return to Auroria, could reclaim the ancient Nuyen lands, the birthlands of Lucius and Iana, and your parents. You felt another of Iana's memories emerge. As the goddess Nui, she just transported the citizens of Auroria to their new home. But the effort was too great, and she was fading away. She implored Lucius to be the people's father, to take care of them. He agreed, promising he wouldn't let them forget their mother's name. You no longer had your golden rune, but you had used it well. And now, you had something even better. A legacy. Well, very nice. A bit long-winded, but very nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a club. Do we? Yep. Oh, yes, level 30. Very nice. And I now have only three spaces left on my bike. I have two. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Not sure I'm into all this uh, love and bullshit. <laughs> I'm just curious what it really what the what it's really saying in Korean. Yeah. So we're done. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, Alright, so straight across. Yeah, we've got to turn back across the other way, haven't we? If we can get out of this place. <laughs> can we jump on the rock? No. I have to go out the gate. Oh, I got through. Did you? Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Well done. Why are you hiding behind a tree? I am going down a tree. That's right, make you fall on me, why don't you? Just looking out. <laughs> okay, how do we get back across this little river then? Oh, bridges over there. I was having a look over here. Uh, anything over there? Hmm. No, there might be merging to consult to, I suppose, but I'll come back over there. Well, I just went down the road for the yeah, turn. Yeah, I'm coming. Because that's a pretty big city, I figured it's coming in. In itself. It's all there. He's also a, uh, a, uh, warehouse manager. Mm. Yes, thank you, Nate. I can get rid of that. Put that in there. Uh, what's that here after storm? No, oh, it's teleport. I need that. Seem to have a lot of quest items in my bike. Yeah, I'm I just looking at that. I I wonder if some of them don't like uh, just don't disappear when you've done it. Yeah, but I'm afraid to get rid of anything because I don't know what I need. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, and I need to... I need to get my pet, since I killed him. Yeah, I'm really not sure what I can get rid of here. Get rid of them because I don't need those. I'm not going to use them. These unidentified merchants' coin purses thing and priest coins purses and merchants' coin purse. Oh, those things! If you open them, if you open those up, they have they can have stuff in them, but they also give you experience. Yeah, but I thought it took labor points to do it. it does spend three labor points to open them. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll leave me back for the time being. I've now got six spaces. Right. I need to. The mysterious figure. Is that the one you've got? You find him? Uh, yeah, that's the only one I have, is Mysterious. Yeah, I thought we'd already done this one. I had, I don't think I had. Let me check just in case, I better do it. Alright, so we've got to head all the way back over to the other side. Uh, it's down south, is that right? Yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> this is really a silly mount. here as well. Right. The uh, Priestess of Nui. Oh, I have to pick a lily still for... Uh, right. Have you got it? Yeah, I, I have it from last time. What is it? Offering a lily. Collect a lily. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have one. I don't. Mm, no, so I'll get rid of that. A bond on. Thank you. Right. <laughs> it's a new hub. Second. Like He's inside this hut. This one here. Nice. Now another place to find. Three quests. 
Yeah, we seem to have a that turning, that number two, is that still over here? That seems to be in this direction. Which oh it's noise number two. Kill as an escorts, sorry. <laughs> Me being a noob again. Don't forget to redo your buff. Oh yeah, thanks mate. Because mm -hmm. I had, oh I just got the necklace off him. Yep, got the necklace. Yeah? Yeah. 